Hey, what's up guys and how's it going? My name is Funky Regs and welcome to Song of Horror. Now that I got Devil May Cry 5 out of the way, I get to finally play one of the horror games that I wanted to play for Spooky Season on this channel and that is Song of Horror. This game actually has mechanics that are from Obscure, meaning you get to change characters throughout the adventure. They all have their different stats, so that's pretty cool. And actually, another horror game that you should see me play is obscure links in the description to the playlist down below so go and check that out if you want to see that adventure this is a episodic horror game it has five episodes and i think each of them might take an hour and a half to complete so yeah we have a i wouldn't say a pretty long um let's play but we have something that's different from devil may cry 5 where i don't have to think about what i want to do next you know anyway let's go ahead and hop into it uh we'll just go from here just wanted to check and see if the game would you know run well it does so this is a prelude uh friday like any other daniel neuer is arrives home on a friday afternoon after work i can already tell this is going to be one of those videos where i cannot read as usual he immediately receives an untimely call from etienne his boss at wake publishing this time he's tasked with finding author sebastian p husher husher who has been missing for weeks okay cool you will have to yeah whatever let's go i'm excited we recommend using headphones and a controller for a more immersive experience believe it or not i'm actually on my controller in my um headphone eulers This is Daniel's apartment. So we're missing a cutscene, and that was actually the one that led us into this right I'm here. Sweet home. Oh, and we got voice acting. Okay, holy shit. All right. Um, this game looks. I say it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, you even got fixed camera angles too. Epic. My little flashlight has saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Okay, so. Those bring back some really good memories. Okay, okay. Can we turn off this light? We can. Okay. So let's turn this back on because I'm kind of scared right now. All right. Go in here. Ooh. This looks nice. My videotape collection. I got a few westerns and cop movies. Okay, okay, not bad. Plan to spend my sat Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. I think you can. I think you can. Can't wait to see the next X Files episode. <laughs> A fellow fellow X Files mm -hmm. listener. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything special in here, is there? Not hungry. All right, I guess. Oh, whoa, what was that? Okay. LB is how you open up the inventory. Is there any other button that works? LT is how you sprint. Huh? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Until Dawn. Actually, a little bit. Maybe the animations are what's reminding me. Or maybe it's the fixed camera angles and, you know, the way how they are just going in the controls. So it has a little bit of until dawn. Oh, oh crikey. Seriously. My God, bro. Let's see what they want. Bring, bring. Hello. Hello. Daniel, it's me, Etienne. Look at hey, the cutscene! It's drawn! Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself. But I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. 
And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I want to talk. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't ever stretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. Okay, it actually kind of is. If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. Now, you're going to divorce myself in her place. We're getting a lot of uh backstory about Daniel this man Daniel. Lawyer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Let's go, I'm Wake so proud of you. Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Alright. Well, okay then, that's that. I'm not gonna lie, cutscenes drawn out, pretty nice. Gives me that Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker vibe. Anyway, the Husher Mansion is home of the writer Sebastian V. Pusher and his wife. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, the door is cracked. Prelude. A Friday like any other. Okay. Alright, so as I was saying before, there was a cutscene that was missing, and that is the cutscene with the music box. All it was was just some dude by bashing in the door with a funny ass expression on his face, like. You know, trying to close up the music box because some cracking looking thing with tentacles was coming out. By the way, this game is HP Lovecraft inspired, by the way. Now that you heard me say something about tentacles. Anyway, a tricycle? I didn't know Husher had kids. Me neither. Actually, I was reading it. It did say something about he having kids. What's this? A newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. <gasps> Maybe the murderer just magically escaped and got Husher. Hello? Is that music? I better take a look. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, I guess you should, since, you know, you want to find the guy that you're tasked to find. Oh, light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it on, or to turn it off and on, press RT or right mouse button. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use the right analog stick. This will allow you to eliminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be in front of your character. Your light source will never run out, using as much as you need. Yo, that's what we like to hear. So right now we don't need it. Yeah, see, look, it's just like Until Dawn. Like, in Until Dawn, if you had a light source, you could just look around and move your head and see what, exactly what you want to look at. Anyway, they look like travel guides. That's pretty sick, dude. Or I guess I could have said the quarry also, you know? Or, I don't remember if the quarry did that, but, yeah. There's a lot of clues. Is there anyone here now? I don't know. I don't need to explore all these things. I just need to find out where the music is coming from. Can I go in here? Where is it coming from? It's coming from the left. I do want to explore the house a little bit, though. I I'll look at the piano. What's up, piano man? What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. Him. Euro. Alright. There's 
something on that doorknob. Oh, there is. You're observant, you little bitch. Thank you. Documents and items. Oh, I picked up a die. A die. Yeah, I picked up the. Uh, yeah. You have found an examinable item. To inspect it, press the button A. I did not read that the way how it was written. To examine the backside, use the right. Uh, use right stick. You can access your inventory and collect the documents at any time by pressing left bumper and right bumper, or L1 and R1. That is better. Okay. I guess we'll read this too. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps should I say, ear. The melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen to it for yourself. I had never heard the song before. In my attempts at finding the score or the name or composer, have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Yeah, I remember reading the Steam page. They said something about the melody was, will curse you. So I guess you already know that they've been cursed. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and this mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. All right, let's go in. That boy hit the rock, man. He said, Huh. Yeah, hold on a second. There's a. There's a. I want to say a cabinet. I don't know what you would call that. I forgot. There's like decorations and stuff. Over here. That just got loud. Ooh, the door's gonna close behind me. No. I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. Oh my god. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. That's not good, buddy. I hear voices. Sometimes right next to me other times a few yards away it seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall desperate cries howling in horror oh sometimes the worst of all a vast oppressive silence would fall seeming to emanate from everywhere. it looks like the painting that was on the wall the eclipse no photo there. just hallucinations nightmares black nothingness and the song from that music box trapped in this impossible place i wondered if i was going to die there daniel's voice acting is so good it went from, you know, this, you better owe me one to a, I don't think I'm going to make it here. Any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? 
I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a I don't think you want to go there. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. I don't think you want to go there. Okay, the Husher mansion is home to Ryder. I can finally read this. It's about to be Husher and his wife, Catherine, and their two children, Julia and Saul, and their housekeepers, Alexander Master. That's crazy. I know how to read, bitch. Sophie Van Den. Sophie Van Dam. So, uh, this is what I was talking about. You know how you get to switch characters in Obscure? You get to do that with this. Maybe I... Maybe there's a better way to describe how you do this, but... Um... You know... I think that's the best way to describe it for me because it's just what it's like. Anyway, we have Sophie Van Denen. She, her light source is a candle, age 40. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Okay, cool. Uh, we got Etienne. That's the guy that called Daniel into the, um, to that house. Got him killed, I want to say. His light source is a lighter. Now we good. Alexander Laskin. Candle. Okay. And we, she has a flashlight. Alina Ramos. Alright. Um, I don't know where she comes from in all this, but, okay. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll play as Sophie, since she was the one that was actually going into the house. We'll just make it... You know consistency you know just for the just for the playthrough September 28 1998 I'll never forget it. So this is the house. Oh yeah, she has a candle as a light source too. Uh, you know, I didn't go this way as Daniel. Or, I, yeah, I don't think I did. It's totally Jan. Probably hasn't been open for years. Mm, okay. Yo, I like that walk she got, though. She got that swag walk going, for real. That's crazy. Into the house. Episode 1, the Husher Mansion. Okay. I did tell y'all. Is there anybody home? Oh, my God. Really? You're just gonna start yelling? Oh my god. Alright. Fine. Um I don't know where to go from here, dude. I don't mean we ain't Ooh, we got scented candles. Let's see what this is. Hold on. Uh scented Oh, it's a personal item and it has three uses left. Sophie always said that the scent of these candles made her feel more at peace. Safer. Daniel. Okay. Going through here. All right, nice. You know, the this place actually looks a lot scarier now that it's dark. Ooh, vinyl record? Or a DJ place thingy? Oh, no. Good music with good wine. In other circumstances. Yeah. You know? Sounds good. Uh, there's a door here. Let's go ahead and open up this. I do like exploring stuff, but, um... I think majority of the stuff that I get to look at is probably nothing good. Nothing useful. Hmm. Historical novels. A lovely camera. Oh. Where do you see the camera at? Oh, it's in there. Do you think it's recording right now? No, oh, that'd be kind of weird. Alright. Oh, what's in here? My whole mood just changed, dude. I was all happy, but now I'm all dreading. I see a key in the jar, but it's jammed. I gotta lubricate it somehow. Oh, okay, so there's a key. Japanese swords. They look, both look authentic. 
I could even imagine them as museum pieces. Yo, we got a sword here just in case if we want to cut some up. Let's go. All right, so th that's good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come back there for a, uh, a katana. A wakashi. Whatever weapon. It's Japanese. I don't know. All my weeaboos will help me out there. A Nagatana. No. A Naganata. Yeah. Sounds so close to the N word. Alright. This is the door that Daniel got stuck beat. Alright. Door is locked shut. Okay. So we need to find a key for that then. Porcelain fruit. Hey! Porcelain. Yo, you remember um Remothered? A broken porcelain? That'd be a good game to revisit. No, it wouldn't. I'm lying my ass off. Where do I go from here? Can I go in here? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's go. I got two doorways over here. Oh, we got matches, too. Matchbox. Just an ordinary matchbox. Sounds good. It seems like you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got like nine um matches in it. Wait a minute, what did the box say? I thought I said I thought I heard thirty count and then it said Oh, contains fifty safety matches. I thought that said thirty. Be like thirty matches, and then it says fifty at the bottom. Someone doesn't get the idea here. Where would this take us? Ooh, the kicking. Something on the counter. There is? Yes. Alright. Drawing by Saul. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That's it looks like little hands are coming out. The more you observe it, the worse it gets. Okay. Um Will we Will we always have that? Yeah, we will. Okay, cool. Um I hear something. Ooh, what's that? Water came out from the sink. And there's a wire right there. Wow. That's not safe at all. A ring. A metal ring. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Look at this. There are signs of breakage here. The bottom half of a broken key. It's got Resident Evil inspecting um things on it. That's pretty cool. What's in here? I don't like this. This looks weird. What's that? Oil can. A rusty can of motor oil. We can use this on that desk thingy. Epic. Let's go. Progress. Pr uh, preserves cereal. A range of non-perishable foods. Do they got bootios up there? I don't think they do. They ain't got bootios up there. Um, who's there? Listening at doors. What was that noise? You better go take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against the door, walk up to it, and when you see the listen icon, press and hold Y. While you're listening, pay attention to the sounds that come from the other side. What was that? Don't yell that out loud. Okay, we need to walk quietly. Using your map. It seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of the unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you explore so far. To open it, press L or left stick. The map will constantly the map will be constantly updated with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out every once in a while. Sounds good. I do that. Okay. Ooh, this is our map. It looks pretty nice. All right, we ain't hearing nothing. Coast is clear. Let's go. Let's go. All right. 
We don't need to go that way. We need to go right over here. Alright, we don't need to listen through. Alright. Nice. Okay, so... The way to the library. This way. Okay. So something's definitely in here, because I heard a sound. But they're not giving us the option to, like, listen through the doors and everything? Wild? Alright. So here we go. Okay, you got lubricated somehow? Okay, so we gotta use this. Oil can, use it. Yes. That oil worked like a charm. So now, you, so now you can open it? The master key. Looks like an old key. It was... It was jammed in a drawer. It was in the jam drawer in the library. Oh my god. These keys will usually open up more than one door. Okay, cool. So we got the master key. So I guess we should start going around unlocking doors. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, so let's go through that door. What happens if we don't? Let's do it. What could go wrong? Hello? Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? We can't leave my room. I mean, he might be. Do y'all hear that? Y'all do hear that, right? That wasn't just me. I heard something like rustling or some shit. Mm -mm. Alright. I got the key that I need to open it. That's not how you do it. This is it. Good. Now the door is open. All right, so I wonder if that door is going to be there. No, it's not. What? Okay, Julia and Saul's notes. A scribbled piece of paper from the smoking room in the Husher mansion. Uh, This is a note from the kids. Okay. This is going to be disturbing. Julia says, I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest, and it even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. Saul says, I saw the weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, and I will hide the five dolls too. Even if they get mad at me, I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will be ready, will be, will. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will wash the door so nobody comes in. All right. So that's that. So the door is there or not there. What the devil? Is that? Unnerving. Yes. Oh, a screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver. It looks like it's seen better days. What could we use this on? Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing else in here. Let's just go. Huh? Is that you? Um, 
I don't think Daniel can shape shift into a gaseous solid. I mean, to a gaseous form. Oh. Okay. Interrupt me while I'm doing it, I guess. The door. Pushing and blocking. Something is trying to get in. Make sure that the door does not open. To gather your strength, rapidly, repeatedly press A. Once you feel strong enough to push and block the door, press RT. Waiting for maximum strength is effective but risky. You decide when to push the door, but be extra careful. No matter what happens, make sure you keep it shut. Okay. You get out of my door! Get! We did it. The door. Being extra careful. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now. But don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you've already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. Okay. Oh, God. What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? Some... Something, something terrifying. That's what that was. It's still there. Is it going to go away? I think it did. All right, no more, no more heart beating. Did you, did you take your gassy ass somewhere else? All right, we don't need to listen to this door though. So if we don't have to listen to the door, that means it's gotta be safe. Unless stated otherwise. That doesn't sound too bad. Mm -mm. Need a key to open it? Alright, bet. Mm -hmm. Just to be sure. Alright, we're good. Ooh. This place. Oh, dear. Wait, what is... Oh, wait, there's something I can pick up here. Firewood, a small pile of logs. Okay, whatever I would do with this. Um, I guess the match, I guess that and the match have something to do with that. Because it's fire logs and maybe you got to put it on fire so you can, you know, use it. Maybe. That's just me. Why did that happen? What? TV turning on? That's wild. All right. Okay, so we're good. Um, I guess we can go out here now. Oh, this is the, the loop around. Oh, we got to go up there. Oh, man. Crazy. Something missing here. Hold on. They removed a painting from the mark on the wall. I don't think they took it down long ago. You might be right about that. You might be right about that. What is this? Portrait from night from 1634. I'm not familiar with the artist or the subject. Hmm. Crazy. The streets are so calm. Yeah, it makes you want to be out there compared to in here. You know what I'm saying? I much rather prefer to be in there or out there. Seems to be nothing. By the way, I just want to let you guys know that if she's holding her candle up to the door like that, that's an easy fire. 
or at least a little bit of burn marks. Some damage would have been made to that door, which I don't think they'll be happy with. Let's go in. Need a key to open it? Well, that's why we got this thing. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's go in. What's going on here? really dark yeah I don't think we should open it yeah we're not gonna open up that door the switch must turn on the light but something's wrong with the light electricity the electricity is not on so we're gonna get out of there he can try to come out of that door if he wants to but I'm not I ain't I, nah I ain't no I'm not fucking with that uh-uh, not today, heathen. All right, it's safe to go in here. Ooh, a bathroom. What is the... Dishcloth, a dirty dishcloth. Oh, it actually flips over. Yeah, it flips, yeah, it, yeah, ooh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost that gets smaller and bigger, smaller and bigger, something like that. All right, we're going to take that, though. What's in here? All sorts of toiletries are in here. Most still. Most still what? Sealed. Dang. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking for or looking at, but I'm learning. All right, it's safe. I can't get this door open. All right, so you need a key for that. Tell me that you need a key. I'll achieve nothing this way. Well, we don't use the key right there, but that's cool. Um, hmm. Oh, this took us outside. Ah, ha, ha, I like that. No matter how much I feel around the floodlight, it would, it will be useless until I can turn it on. Why do they even, bro, why do they write these subtitles so weird? Maybe I just can't read right now. Not, I'm not sure, but I say this battery belongs to that floodlight. So we should find something that we can like connect it up with. All right. Happy anniversary. Oh, they about to have a anniversary dinner here. But they couldn't. Cause the owner is stupid. And he died. Skill issue. Those masks right there, my guy. Those are some masks. Oh! Crazy. This is a remote control. Your standard garage door remote control. The button seems a bit worn down. Okay. 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 Lovely armchair surrounded by books. I wouldn't mind sitting down to page through a few. See? No one says that. Keep that table in mind when you need a spot to hide. Okay. Why would you say that for? Do I gotta hide? I think I might have to. Something is jamming the lock. I believe it's a broken key. Okay, okay. Wait a minute, hold on. My brain is working, y'all. My brain work. Hold on, my brain's not working right now. Hold on a second now. Where did I put it? Here we go. Mm -hmm. The pe the broken piece on the ring seems to match the shaft stuck in the keyhole. Could I glue them together somehow? Um. Yeah, I always got to find some shit for these people. All right, um, we got the remote control for the garage door, though, which is kind of nice. So let's go downstairs into the garage because uh, that I think that's the door that I haven't opened up. 
Yeah, let's go downstairs. A burglar alarm. How modern. A moat where crocodiles would be more fitting in this house. What the f- What does that mean? I can go in here, right? It's just a bathroom. There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Greasy ass. Okay, so there was nothing in there then. Wild. Alright. Uh, there's something else over here though. Alright, we're good. So what does this take me? Tears in a Wind by Lady Edelman. It's lovely, melancholy, and has macabre touches. God, I think I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. And I don't care about any of these characters' thoughts for real. Wait, there's a door here, though. Alright, so that door is good to go through. That door is good to go through. And that door is good to go through. Lock from the other side. Alright, that's good to know. Need a key to open it. Alright, can we use this one? All right, now I can do away with this key. Oh, we so we used it. Okay, so that's the last of that key that we needed to use. So you thought, you genuinely thought I was actually gonna go down there. Nah, I'm not. Oh, the garage. What? That's what I said. Okay, anyway, boiler functioning, upper panel, shut down, press the left button, start, press the central boy button, Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing everything, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed down for four seconds. Okay, so that's going to have something to do like later on or something like that. Here's a boiler. It's receiving no electricity like the rest of the house. Oh! Okay. So, what? Crazy. Okay, um. So, we can't do nothing with this. But the boiler seems to be over here. So, where can. Wait a minute, so what is this screwdriver even used for then? So I'm pretty sure this screwdriver got something to do with it. No. 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 Okay. Oh, the screw. Oh, okay. It goes right here. Bloody hell, it's screwed down. Okay. So maybe we can combine. There we go. That's what we like to see. Four fuses. I don't know a great deal about electricity. What might I do with this? Okay, so... Okay. So I don't know much about electricity either. But I do know something about, um... Nothing. Epic. So now what do I do?
it was scary the first time, but you know, it got a little bit boring right there in the end. Uh, don't do that again. Thank you. So let's go right here. The bo the boiler. Hold on a second though. Wait a minute. I don't want to go down there just yet. I don't want to go down there. Wait, the boiler needs electricity. Okay. I guess. All right, let's go. I didn't even bother listening. Oh, it's safe in here then. All right, we gotta be careful. How dark is it? Oh my God. Really dark. No, what are you doing, girl? Go back. What is this? Safe riddle. A handwritten note detailing Hush's riddle for his daughter, Julia. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. Okay. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed up the and changed the combination. Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. Number of the number of our street address. Saul's age, which is seven. The decade and year of the canvas hanging upstairs. 1693? Right next to the suitcase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Okay. Crazy. Oh, th there are some wines down there. Painted by Kaufman, 1945. Doubt it's an original. Old junk. The washer looks like that. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever. Old junk. Nothing usual. I'm scared. I don't want to talk no more. I mean... It don't appear to use his wardrobe anymore. It's empty. How would you even know that? Huh? Something's gone to me. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. So. They have different colors. This one is a... Yellow, green, red... Blue? I want to say? Okay. So there's only one blue wire. Alright. Um... I really hope I don't die if I fuck this up. I really hope I don't die. I probably will. All right. I'm probably one of the only people that use Reddit for puzzles like this. I ain't found a solution. I mean, I did. Oh my God. Now the audio. Okay. I'm about to say now the audio don't work. So I went to Reddit for this. Probably the only one that goes to solutions for games that have puzzling and shit like that. But, um, yeah, so here's what I found out. You see the, you see the, you, bro, you see the stuff on the left, bro? That's actually 25 amperes. So what that means is we got to follow that yellow and black wire to the first one, which is, um, you know, the one that's on the top, top left. So, yeah. So we see a green and blue and red wire coming out of that one. So that would mean... It needs to match up to 25A. So that would mean that we would need to put either a 15 in this one. And uh what the fuck else? Um Yeah, we need to put like a 15 in that nah 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 nah. It's gotta be like nah yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta be like 15 and shit. So like um now we gotta put the 10 somewhere because now we don't know where the 10 go, which is kind of wild, but like, yeah. Actually, that one go right there, right? So now that we got that, 
So now we got to go to the second one. We got 50 ampere. So that means that like, um, so that means that like, um, they're like searing it and shit. I will attempt to turn on the switch to see if it works. So that means that, oh, this is the switch. Some wire failing to make contact? What do you mean is some wire failing to make contact somewhere? That water puddle. That water puddle. That's the thing that we need that make contact. All right, hold on. We're going to make our way up to the kicking. All right, it shouldn't be that far from here. Y'all hear that? That didn't sound right. Hold on a second. Something gonna be here. So yeah, I ain't got no more audio ever since I unplugged my controller on accident. Like, they need to stop that. Oh, never mind. The music is back. Okay. Through here. Go up. What? Does he know? I don't care about that right now. I need to go to the kicking. So we got the dirty rag, right? So now that means that we gonna get down and be going. What? What? What do you mean? There's the wire. Look at the wire. Oh, I had to look down. My fault. Excellent. Bye bye puddle. Okay. So now what? Is the wire going to be good? So does that mean that we got to go back down there? I bet. Let's head back down there. Shouldn't be that bad. It's crazy. We got to do all this just for one room that is really dark and that has something behind it. so whack all right it's this one right yeah all right then we gotta go back down here all right now we're here let's go ahead and run all the way why she looks so angry is she running oh my god All right, so the, that should be good. Finally, Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. You didn't see that? Why are the lights flickering? That's crazy. Hold on. Hold on. There's a note thing over here. Okay. Must be the note that he mentioned in the thingy. Okay. So. What was the house called? Hold on a second. What's the house called again? I, I forgot. It was something about 25 Abbott Lane. Yeah. Let's just do 25 and then 16. Like 16th century. Yeah. We'll say that. Um. One, no, 24, no, 25, Abbott Lane, 16th century. Uh -uh. All right, then, bitch. So the boiler works. Everything's working. The fan is on. You see leaks? Okay. Oh, wait, we can fix that. Hold on. Okay. So what does this say? Emergency shutdown. Uh, press the left button. Let's do the empty. D 
Did that work? Better leave the boiler alone. What? We... We emptied it. I'm hoping that worked. I mean, I right, I'm leaving it alone, I guess. All right, we don't need a we don't need to listen to dope right here, man. We just gotta go up in here, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, we should be good. Oh. Hope it doesn't go off though. Yeah. If it does go off, we're screwed, I think. Maybe. I mean, at least the lights are on now. That's good. So that means that we get to go into that room where the other guy was. Was it this one? Yes, sir. All right. What up, yo? Stop banging on that dough. Stop banging on that dough. So does the light stay on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn this on just in case though. What's this? Yes. Red rag doll with a flower in her hair. Uh oh, -uh. we didn't have to pick that up. Masha's recording a voice recording of the Husher Manson house mansion housekeeper Masha. The label on the cassette reads September 11, 1998. Okay. Oh, wait, we can actually listen to that one. Hold on. Let's. 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 I am starting to worry. A few days ago, Mrs. Catherine started sleeping in Saul's room with the children. She's been avoiding me lately. Is she ashamed of something? Alexander and I have lived in this house for 16 years. With her. And Mr. Sebastian. We've seen the children grow since they were babies. I don't understand this sudden change in attitude. I'll tell you what's I up. Saw her playing and reading with the children in the living room last night. They looked exhausted. I could hear it in their voices, but they wouldn't go to sleep. They seem to be avoiding it. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily done listening to that. Uh, I hope it plays off where we last left off. Alright, we're done. We're done. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's okay. It's fine. Alright, so we need to find some glue next for the key. Which, alright. Go! Uh, the darkness hiding. Something terrible is drawing near. You need a plate. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you and find a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with the hiding place, it will appear on the map with the symbol. Time is short. To hold, run. I mean, to run, hold LT. Okay. <laughs> what the? Okay, uh, the darkness keeping calm. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head. To calm down, follow the rhythm of your heartbeat by pressing. Doop, 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 doop. When the white border reaches the circle, don't let your heart be too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. Did I do it right? Was that... For real? Or, or am I imagining things? All right. That's something. That's like stay calm, but you know, you actually get to do something with the. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think we'll finish this episode and get started with episode two next video. I think that'll be a good idea. I don't know how far I am from beating this, but maybe not that, but hopefully not that far. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, you all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys so much for your support on the channel. This is um, Song of Horror, a game that I've always wanted to play for the spooky season this year. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.